welcome back to Nerd Den here once again and in today's video I'm going to be doing my breakdown for The Power of the Doctor's official trailer which released earlier today. You know I've got my cup of tea ready and uh, yeah we are going to be looking through pretty much every single frame in the trailer. It's around about a minute long so yeah let's have a look because my hype levels for the future of Doctor Who is through the roof right now so let's have a little um, analysis of what's going on in this trailer. Alright, so we've got the TARDIS travelling through, well, it looks like a little bit of a different vortex. I'm guessing like it's some um, hyperspeed train that we see in various parts of the trailer. Um, you can see the TARDIS descending nearby, um, which is pretty cool. And then we get the familiar shot of Jodie Whittaker's Doctor in what looks like to be a church setting, um, which is where she meets Sasha Dewan's master where he greets her once again and says that he is going well it's not him but you know it's you know he's saying that it's the end of her existence you know she's being wiped from history couldn't get my words out there you know i'm that hyped for doctor who you know clearly uh and speaking of which the master as well um has taken the form of rasputin which is very interesting i'm guessing that's where he is in disguise for most of the episode, we've got the familiar shot of the TARDIS travelling through the regular time vortex, which we've seen in various trailers and we'll probably see in um, various segments of the episode as well, um, which is something we're used to. But then there's like this volcano, um, volcanic thing going on here. It looks like a crater. Don't know what's going on there, but looks pretty cool nonetheless. We've got Kate Stewart as well, explaining the basic plot of the episode with the 13th Doctor that paintings are going missing. Um, and I'm guessing this is the brand new unit HQ. And then we get Ace as well, who is, I'm guessing, investigating where the painting used to be. Uh, she's looking a bit confused. I'm guessing, well, could it be the National Gallery that we saw on Day of the Doctor, maybe? I don't know. But then we look here at this quarry that, um, I don't know what's actually going on here, if I'm being completely honest. Because... There's like loads of ships scattered around the quarry and it makes me think that they could be cyber ships. But then again, they look very different compared to the usual cyber ships unless it's, you know, like a brand new variant of space shift or space space shift ship even. Can't even get my words out today. But yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's what these are potentially because in one of the later shots we see uh, the Doctor and Yaz running through like a similar setting and they're being fired at by um like blue blasters and i'm guessing that they are cybermen as or like cyber blasters but yeah very dazed and confused and then this building here is getting well pretty much destroyed it's getting obliterated and i'm guessing this is where the brand new unit hq is and this is probably going to be where the cybermen and ashad end up attacking unit Nice little shot there of the TARDIS console. And then, I'm guessing this takes place at the beginning of the episode where the TARDIS is hovering over this train and there's a distress call or something similar to World on Enough in Time. But instead of using the TARDIS to materialise on the actual train, the Doctor, Dan and Yaz, decide to jump from the TARDIS onto the train, which would be an amazing stunt to see happen. But we've got the orange spacesuits back, which look... Absolutely fabulous as always. Um, and obviously the Doctor commenting about the landing. Really cool stuff there. And then we get this shot here that we saw in the teaser yesterday. Um, of this very strange mushroom planet. Which, I don't know. It looks um, very eerie. But the TARDIS as well looks very battered. And perhaps towards the end of the episode it gets damaged. Perhaps beyond repair or where it needs to... You know, it regenerates itself and we get a new interior for, obviously, Shooty Cat Wars um, era, which would obviously make sense. And then we get the Master in the TARDIS as well, teasing some big revelation, which obviously, you know, may maybe this is earlier on in the Master's timeline where the Master is actually good, um, where this could be, like, literally not long after Missy, so where he regenerates from Missy, um, and then we get the whole, you know, he finds out about the timeless child, maybe during this episode, perhaps. And then we jump forward in time to the latest iteration 
of Sasha's master in his timeline. But then Yaz pointing the gun, I guess I'm guessing that is at the master in the TARDIS. Because obviously she knows what the master is like, so she doesn't trust him. But then, boom, there is a Dalek here as well. Um, which is a hologram, and I'm guessing the, this Dalek is warning the, the Doctor of a Dalek invasion, as well as the Cyberman one, which certainly does raise the stakes of the episode. And I'm guessing as well, this is like a brand new interior for a Dalek spaceship, maybe? Or something like that. Um, it looks like a very CGI-heavy shot, but it looks like a brand new, like, Crucible-like ship or something that I'm guessing the Daleks are using as their, uh, command hub. But yeah, the Daleks are there, and then obviously we get another shot here of, um, the three, fa three members of the fam. I'm guessing they use this, uh, those ladders to, uh, jump down onto the train there. And then we have Vinda, who I actually forgot <laughs> up until now is actually in this episode as well. Um, I'm guessing he's helping the Doctor in one of her endeavours. Got some more dialogue there with Yaz and the Doctor. And then this shot is very interesting. I didn't actually no notice this when initially watching it. But the ha 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 I'm guessing this is something to do with the Master. And perhaps this might not even be the Doctor's TARDIS. Maybe the Master has another TARDIS line about where, you know, he uses it to pose as the Doctor or something. But this thing looks very interesting. Um, it kind of reminds me of Name of the Doctor with the Doctor's time stream. But I wonder what that is. Maybe that is the actual power of the Doctor, maybe. Perhaps. But yeah, a very cool uh, thing there. And obviously another shot there of uh, the Master in that church setting. Looks a lot younger here. Now, this one, this shot here, does make me think that we could be seeing Earth. Well, people have been saying that, you know, it's like two Earths, like maybe like the multiverse or something ends up colliding. But imagine if it's just Earth and Mondas, because Mondas, which is the, uh, well, it's like Earth 2, basically. It's Earth's secret twin planet, which drifted away millions of years ago. And obviously, that's where the Cybermen originated from. So maybe we could see Mondas appear, or a variation of Mondas appear in this episode. I mean, it would make sense. It might explain where the lone Cyberman and that have come from. But again, this seems to be happening above the Mushroom Planet, whatever's going on there. It seems to be very, um, yeah, very chaotic, to say the least. But they're both attacking each other. And then, yeah, obviously, you know, the Master... Trying to go for comedy there. You know, I have to explain the Doctor could be wiped away from existence. And then I'm guessing this planet or spaceship maybe. I don't even know. But it kind of reminds me of the Series 11 finale with Tim Shaw. And I don't think it is going to be Tim Shaw. But maybe this could be like a new cyber ship or something. Or Mondas very badly destroyed or something. Perhaps Mondas is just a massive cyber station. I don't know. Or like a cyber station posing as Mondas. Hey, I don't know. I'm, I'm really reaching there. I really am reaching there. But obviously, speaking of the Cybermen, we've got the lone Cyberman there. Uh, Ashad is back. We've got the Cyber Warriors behind him. Really cool. Really cool shot there. Um, and then obviously the Doctor and Yaz running back to the TARDIS. I'm guessing this takes place after the shots of them running through that mushroom planet. And running back to the TARDIS, being chased by the Cybermen. And whatever's going on here, there's like this new creature, um, which is shooting at rocks. Um, and something very interesting here as well, there are two TARDISes in the same spot. So maybe this is the Fugitive Doctor, played by Joe Martin, and the 13th Doctor appearing together. Or could we even see classic Doctors show up here? Which could potentially happen. Maybe. But still we move. Got another shot here of the Master. Looking a bit more chaotic. Uh, we've got a shot here again of... Um, I'm guessing this is the 13th Doctor. Maybe Yaz. It's hard to tell because the other person's out of shot. But on top of this train station. Uh, train station? This train. Um, what's going through space. Got Ace on a parachute. Because Ace is 
you know, known for making dramatic en entrances. And I've got to say, it looks really cool. Shot here with Ace and Tegan preparing to open fire on Cybermen. Yeah, the Cyber Warriors and the Lone Cyberman, um, I'm, I'm guessing, have infiltrated. Or, well, not even infiltrate. I'm guessing they've just full-on attacked Unit HQ. And they're all ready to cause some chaos. And I'm guessing, again, that that might be Vinder's shuttlecraft. Heading towards that space station there. Which could even be the, like, the cyber ship or something. Uh, we've got another shot here of the train. A final battle. Um, it looks like everything as well is regenerating. So even the logo itself, um, everything is going to change. Some good pointers there. Uh, another shot then of the train as well. Looks pretty long. Got a shot here of the Doctor and Yaz running through what seems to be like that mushroom planet. Um, and I'm guessing that's where they've run onto the TARDIS. Run into the TARDIS, sorry, after being chased by the Cybermen. Which, again, seems a bit chaotic. Uh, the TARDIS as well. Another shot of the TARDIS, again, seems to be very out of sequence, obviously, like trailers normally are. Um, but I'm guessing this is a TARDIS chasing after that train. And then we've got a very interesting bit of dialogue here where Yaz is talking to the Doctor saying she does not want it to end. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be uh, towards the end of the episode where Yaz is going to be saying goodbye to the 13th Doctor, however she ends up going. But it looks like, yeah, there, um, well, Thasmin is coming to an end. However that ends, I guess we'll have to find out in the next couple of weeks. But, yeah, some very interesting stuff there. We've got another shot there of the little um, spaceship there that I think is Binder's craft. Again, flying right over that planet. Don't know what's going on in this shot, but I'm guessing, again, this is the big cyber ship attacking Earth. And there's a lot of things going on here. But then we've got Daleks as well. That I'm, am I right to say that they could also be invading unit as well? It wouldn't surprise me. The Daleks turning up and, hey, they might even start a fight with the Cybermen again. But it's awesome to see that, you know, it's the OG bronze design. OG, like, in terms of that they've got the classic gun and plunger. You know, they haven't got anything else. You know, it's the proper bronze design from the Russell T. Davis era, which is beautiful. And then the infamous shot of the Doctor starting to regenerate or perhaps gaining her memories from the fob watch and if you can look here yeah the logo is regenerating so wow that is certainly a lot to go through but the 23rd of october i'm so excited i really am there we go ladies and gentlemen um that is my breakdown of the power of the doctor trailer i hope you have all enjoyed this uh little video um I have definitely rambled a little bit during that breakdown, but a lot of it, you know, is like a live breakdown of everything that's going on, trying to explain a few things. But, wow, I am really excited for this episode. Now we've got a trailer, a release date. It, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to put out a lot of content regarding this episode and to give my full opinion as well of the Jodie Whittaker era once it's ended as well. Um, there's a lot of interesting Doc 2 videos coming to the channel very soon. So, yeah, I'll see you all next time, though. Thank you very much for tuning into the video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.